Good morning, YouTube. It's a beautiful day outside, and uh, this is part two of the uh, the the video about the mystery religion, uh, Antichrist spirit, and the synagogue of Satan. So I left off, and I was about to quote, uh, what was it? The liar and the deceivers, the Antichrist. There's four references to this in scripture. And uh, I guess I'll just... 2 John 1, seven. For many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. So if people aren't, aren't uh, confessing Christ, they're liars. Right? And that's why... Uh, 1 John 2.22, it says, Who is a liar? But he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ, he is the antichrist, that denieth the Father and the Son. And as I'm um, watching different people, I'm realizing a lot of people are uh, either falling away or were never actually walking with the Lord. People that I was close to, that I talked to, um, are now turning from God. And so the scripture says that, uh, you know, it's, I think it's in 2 Thessalonians 2, that be, right before the Lord comes back, you know, he won't come back until there comes a falling away first. Uh, and... I don't know to what extent how much worse it can get, but we live in a, our society. I mean, there's a lot of good people around. Don't get me wrong, but our society is pretty much it's pretty godless. As I, as like I said yesterday, I was talking to a lot of people, and um, you know, and even in my own life, I've been godless myself, right? And none of us are righteous on our own credit. And that's why we need the Lord because God loves us so much and He wants us you know, to be in his presence, and no matter how hard we try, you know, we can't be perfect people, and that's why we have to confess and renounce our sin, it's just an acknowledgement and a correction on a constant basis, like I lied the other night, right, uh, to somebody close to me, you know, because I was having thoughts that were from the enemy, and I ran with that, believing it, and uh, I recognized it. And I said, well, I don't want to be a liar, and, 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 and I, I don't, you know, I don't want to, I want my own mind to be mine, my mind. All that stuff is from the devil, I'm telling you guys. It's from Satan, it's from demons, that's why the scripture in 2, uh, two, two I think it's 2 Corinthians 10, like 3 through 5, you know, it says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, they're not natural, but they're mighty through God to the point down of strongholds. These are, uh, it's, it's, it's taking every thought into captivity. To the the obedience to the knowledge of Christ of, of the resurrected Jesus and what's what's interesting is uh I got a couple more verses here so uh so I think it's one John four three it says in every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God and this is that spirit of Antichrist whereof you have heard that it should come, and even now already it is in the world. So basically the spirit of Antichrist is just, you know, Micah 5.5 5 says, uh, they're just demonic spirits is all it is. That's the Antichrist spirit. These are uh, spirits that are using human hosts to their own purpose. And, uh, you know, that's not God's will, because it ultimately will lead to our own destruction. And, um, you know, a lot of people that are, are doing these things are going to like hearing this, and I'm not doing it to please you, but I'm doing it because hopefully some people will hear what I'm saying. You know, uh, when, when, we, uh, when we are serving these things, when we, when we steal, when we take knowledge, right, that God told us not to, we serve the enemy. That's what ends, ends up happening. And, uh, you know, that's why Habakkuk, around 6 through 10 it says shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say woe to him that increases that which is not his how long will this go on Lord how long is this going to go on right and woe to him that increases that which is not his how long is it him that ladleth himself with thick clay shall not Shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee, and awake that shall vex thee, and thou shalt be for booty unto them? Because thou, <clears throat> because thou hast spoiled many nations. 
all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee, because of men's blood and for the violence of the land of the city and of all that dwell therein. Woe to him that covets an evil covetousness, that he may set his nest on high. And Isaiah 57, that, uh, you know, they went up, enlarged their bed. Go back to it, 57, 3 through 13. So, because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee, because of men's blood, and for the violence of the land, of the city, and of all that dwell therein. Woe to him that covets an evil covetousness, that he may set his nest on high, that he may be delivered from the power of evil. Thou hast consulted shame to thy house by cutting off many people, and hast sinned against thy soul. I don't know how this stuff could be much clearer. I'm ex I think I'm, I'm trying to explain it pretty good to you guys. Hopefully, um, if, if this makes gives any clarity to any of you guys, please help me understand because I want to know if what I'm, if I'm if it's confusing. And I know some of you are going to have problems with like the, the believing some of these things that I'm presenting, but it's just from seeking and looking at the evidence and so. So basically what it comes down to, Micah, Micah, Micah 5, 5, it says, uh, For all people will walk, everyone in the name of his God, and we will walk in the name of the Lord our God forever and ever. And uh, everybody has, has the same opportunity. Everybody uh, gets to make their choice. Everybody can, has free will. God has given us free will. Uh, the devil's always there to try to take that from us, and that's why we shouldn't live in the lust of our flesh, but to be present sober and alert and uh, I had to suffer a lot of a lot of severe chastisement spiritually because I didn't understand these things and, and so the whole like last year of my life has been one of correction of fasting of praying and uh, if you fear for your soul you will take the steps necessary you know to do that So if these people have light, right, they get enlightenment. Everybody wants to choose to serve another God rather than the living God, the Holy One of Israel, Jesus, Yeshua, right? The, the name matters not. People want to dote about stripes of words. And this is all comes from the enemy. You're, I, I've seen people get caught up and tangled in this. And I had to think about this and back in 09 about the name, right? There's only one name that Scripture says that man can be uh, saved by under heaven. And so you'll see a whole group of people, many groups of people, that say, well, I don't know who Jesus is. Well, the name is a representation of a person, okay? You know, you got to think these things through. So they're, they've, they've been hiding uh, light and Freemasonry and uh, the mystery religions. Uh, the Antichrist spirit has to hide what he's doing because if the people knew, if they didn't, if they didn't have to keep it a secret, then their game would never progress. But that's why they make them swear oaths. That's why uh, they, people won't won't speak the truth about the flat earth thing. They all know about it. I talked to the Mormons again yesterday, and I told them I'll pray for you guys. But what you're, you guys are, you have received another Jesus. And uh, you know, my second video that I put up proves that with this kid that I came uh, dealt with you know but a Luke 11 33 through 36 it says no man when he had light as a candle putteth it in the secret place neither under a bushel but on a candlestick that they which come in may see the light the light of the body is the eye therefore when thine eye is single the whole body also is full of light when thy eye is evil uh, the body also is full of darkness take Heed, therefore, that the light which is in thee be not darkness. If the whole body thereof be full of light, having no dark part, the whole shall be full of light, as when, as when the bright shining of a candle does give light. So, will you guys, will anybody hear this? Anybody that has gotten into the occult, anybody that has uh, received the fall, a wrong spirit? None of these things have authority. Uh, to stay when in the presence of a child of God, if you're willing to repent, if you want out, um, you know, all that will seal up and close off because just like in the first, the second video, that kid, when I, I, I ministered to him, 
he lost his virginity. The next day I seen him, it was I didn't really talk to this kid much before, once or twice, once prior, but I seen him and he was, wanted to tell me, right, that he lost his virginity. And I was like, that's cool, that's interesting. And I was like, you know, you got you got some demons in you, then let me pray for you. And uh and when I prayed for him, he was like, Wow, that was epic, right? And um <clears throat> I and I gave him studies and when I seen him a month later and uh they took him into the Mormon church and did a uh, initiation. They prayed, and Beelzebub, the prince of devils, it talks about it, and I think in, uh, in a couple, two or three different places in the scriptures, or maybe a, a one more, but uh, I think it's in Matthew 12. And, you know, the religious leaders, this was the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit is what they were doing. Uh, 22 through 33 of Matthew 12, it said the, the Lord, uh, they said that he cast out devils by the prince of devils, so they knew who he was, right? The religious leaders knew who he was, and uh, they were they were walking in that, you know, and and the same thing. And that's what they said that Jesus cast out devils by the prince of devils. But that's blasphemy of the Holy Spirit when you you're believing that uh, the what, that Jesus Christ, the resurrected Christ, the one that died two thousand years ago. Uh, You know, if you say that that's not God, you know, and you're serving another spirit and you can't see that and you really believe that, there's no coming back from that. But uh, like I said, I said it before, if anybody needs prayer, if you if you hear what I'm saying, it's not a big deal as long as you can recognize it and you want out. Um, you know, a child of God, we can pray for you. I'll pray for you, right? Call in on Skype and it, doesn't, it won't take that long, a couple minutes maybe. You know, but are, oh, is anybody going to listen? I don't think they are. That's why Isaiah said in 30, verse 8, starting at verse 8, And now go, write it before them on a table, and inscribe it in a book, that it may be for the time to come as a witness forever. For they are rebellious people, lying children, children unwilling to hear the instruction of the Lord, who say to the seers, Do not see, and to the prophets, do not prophesy to us what is right. Speak to us smooth things. Prophesy illusions, leave the way. Turn aside from the path, let us hear no more about the Holy One of Israel. Therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, because you despise this word and trust in oppression and perverseness and rely on them, therefore this iniquity shall be unto you like a breach in a high wall, bulging out and about to collapse, whose breaking comes suddenly and in an instant. And its breaking is like that of a potter's vessel that is smashed so ruthlessly that among its fragments not a shard is found with which to take fire from the hearth or to dig up the water out of the cistern. So, uh, and I already, already repeated this verse. I said it before, but I'm going to repeat it again. Judgment also will I lay to the line of righteousness of the plummet. And the hail shall sweep away that the refuge of lies in the waters. Us, when God pours his spirit out, you guys are not going to go hide in underground bases. And uh, I mentioned two volcano nine in uh, my, one of the, the video, was two or three videos ago. It, said, it was titled uh, "Liars and Deceivers uh, Posing as Flat Earth Truthers." And you know, I just watched another one of his videos, and guess what? <clears throat> you know, it talks about It talks about these people, right? They have, they, they're trying to hide themselves, right? But what is it? The scripture says it right here. The water shall overflow the hiding place, and your covenant with death shall be disannulled, and your uh, dis, your agreement with hell shall not stand. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, then you shall be trodden down by it. From the time that it goes forth, it shall take you from morning by morning. It shall pass over by day and by night, and it shall be a vexation only to understand this report. So there's a severe chastisement. and uh, keep their hands free from uh, bribery and keep their lips from lying. So it's righteous and it's really, it's a beautiful thing. And uh, I, I thank you, Heavenly Father, that uh, in my wickedness, in my backsliding, in my uh, stubbornness, and just in my dense nature of my sinful, lustful, filthy flesh, fleshy way that uh, I didn't die because I should have I died. 
And uh, Jesus, man, I cannot thank you. Like, now that I, 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 I'm, I'm coming to my place of freedom as I'm knowing the truth and it's setting me free. And I'm seeing through all the lies that cause fear and cause confusion. And you guys, this tower is being broken right now. Can you see it? All, all, all the illusions. You guys, everybody out there that wants freedom, God is going to give it to you. He doesn't want He doesn't want any of us to feel the way that we felt in this life. And it's been all simply because of, well, we didn't understand. We didn't know. We can't live like, like the devil and expect to be near, you know, to the freedom God wants us to have. But, um, you know, I, I just mentioned Tubal Cain 09. Look at this. This, this. Your guys' covenant with death is done. You can't, you're not going to, you can't. It's all going to be, it's about to be. Uh, you know, Revel so these people are hiding themselves. Revelation 18, 15 through 7. And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and every free man, hid themselves in the dens, and in the rocks, and in the mountains, and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb, for the, uh, the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? You know, so the Lord is known by the judgments which he executes. And the wicked is snared in the work of his hands. That's Psalm 9, 16. And you guys are going to be snared in the work of your hands. You know? You guys are all cowards. I don't fear any of you. NASA. Everybody that's in line like this. Why should, why should we be a scared, scared place? Like if God is on our side. If God before us, who can be against us? You know, but the fear of man brings a snare. But whosoever puts his trust in the Lord uh, shall endure forever and shall inherit his holy mountain. And, uh, you know, it's a simple belief. If you read his word, it's so important. It's so key to get into his word. You know, if we're, if we're spiritually captive right now, right, God is going to take care of us. You know, he says that. And, uh, captivity is when we sin, the devil's holding us captive in, in our mind, we're not free, and uh, it's, it's so important, man, read the book of Isaiah, read all of it, you know, but as I, I was reading through Isaiah, I was like, all this fear and stuff, right, the devil was holding me captive, right, because I sinned, and, uh, you know, it's, it's in 49, I think, Isaiah 49, it says, shall, shall the prey be taken from the mighty, these are fallen angels, or the lawful captive delivered? But thus saith the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prayer of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contends with thee, and I will save thy children, and I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh, and they shall be drunken with their own blood as with sweet wine. And all flesh shall know that I, the Lord, am my Savior, and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. So as many as will come to the Lord, right, uh, he's going to deliver you guys. As many as received him in spirit and in truth to them, gave he right to become children of God. Uh, and so that's in what John 1 around verse, I think, 11 or 12. But uh, these people dug holes, and that's why I mentioned Tubal Cain, the one that I uh, mentioned previously. The, go look at, he's got a video up, and they're, they're showing off their bunker, right? To, to keep themselves safe from the Globers is what they say. Everybody that's been deceived and lied to and believed the lies of the serpent and didn't seek truth. You know, but right now, if you look into these things that I'm telling you guys, you'll see it. And uh, to him that is joined to all the living, there is hope for a living dog is better than a dead lion. Right? We, we're, we, we're like, you know, a dead, who's a dead lion? Satan and all his, his minions, they're all dead lions. And, uh, you know, <clears throat> you guys can't hide yourselves. I've already made that clear. But let me go into Amos 9, 1 through 3. And I saw the Lord standing upon the altar, and he said, Smite the lintel of the door that the post may shake, and cut them in the head, all of them. And I will slay the last of them with the sword. He that fleeth of them shall not flee away, and he that escapeth of them shall not be delivered. Though they dig into hell, thence shall my hand take them. Though they climb up to heaven, thence will I bring them down. And though they hide themselves in the top of Carmel, I will search and take them out thence. And though they be hid for myself in the bottom of the sea, thence will I command the serpent, and he shall bite them. So even the one you guys have been serving will turn on you, because uh, he doesn't care about you. And so you guys have been stealing, right, as thieves and robbers, everybody that's been committing idolatry. And uh, I think I'm about done with this. Aside from, uh, so this is all the synagogue of Satan, everybody that has committed idolatry. 
received another spirit. Uh, this is pretty much going on all over the place now, and uh, this relates to, uh, you know, it says it in, I think, was it Revelation 2? And so Obama came out, I'm going to link the video in the description. Uh, just yeah, a day or two ago, three days ago maybe, and he said that we're all Jews, right? We're all, you're a Jew now? Right? I thought you were born in Kenya, or wherever it was, Hawaii, I don't know. There was really no no certain clarity on that. I didn't really waste my time with it. Uh, but uh, Revelation 2.9, he says, I know thy works and thy tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them that would say they are Jews and are not, but are a synagogue of Satan. Fear none of them, these things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that you may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. But be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. He that hath an ear... Let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. So the synagogue of Satan, now now, now uh, Pharaoh is uh, saying that everybody is, uh, we're all Jews. Watch the, the link in the description. You know, we, we need to understand this is not a color issue, right? But this is what these people are doing is they've made the people... The Antichrist is a very trick, slick, conniving, slick talker, right? Skilled at intrigue. And uh, people stuck in their wickedness that have not come out of their sin are going to worship this thing. And uh, there's not going to be any choice. And that's why it says in Revelation, every, the whole world shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb that was slain from the foundation of the world. So, uh, take the time. To think about these things more than anything else because uh, time is finite and God wants us all to be with him but uh, Henry McCow wrote a good article but I'm also going to link that uh, in the description and it's talking about the Illuminati and it makes it very clear this is not uh, between left or right they own both sides I'm going to post a secret coming too be sure you guys go through there's going to be uh, four things, and so the, the whole summation of uh, of the mystery religions, the Antichrist spirit, and um, the synagogue of Satan, and, and partaking of the tree of knowledge, is summed up in this little uh, this little writing here. The narrative of the deception, which I'll link this to in a link. The narrative of the deception of Eve into eating the forbidden fruit constitutes the fundamental foundation of the deceptive primeval wisdom of Gnosis. A new spiritual impulse of the incarnation of the Luciferian spirit, the illumination of knowledge piercing through mankind's physical reality, affecting and influencing every culture, civiliz uh, civilization, and mythology through history, the descent or embodiment of a deity to the earth in an incarnate form or some manifest shape, the incarnation of a god or avatar, the sexual relationship, DNA manipulation, and genetic engineering of humans symbolized globally in the ancient and modern architect of the obelisk in the dome, where the obelisk represents the phallus, penis, slash rays of the sun, sky god, sun gods, and the dome as the vagina or the womb of the woman. This is the ultimate projection of the Luciferian spirit into messianic form. The ultimate realization of the transcendent marriage of the human and the divine, the carefully orchestrated deceptive symphony, symphony of the apotheosis, uh, you will be like God, mankind transcending the physical reality to become God's message of attention, enlightenment, genetic enhancement, and evolution, transhumanism reincarnation, transmigration of the soul, mind cloning and uploading, transplantation of cellular memories and singularity. These methods of genetic manipulation and engineering, ascension, transcendence, and altered states of consciousness are part, not part of the divine creative mechanism for our spiritual body in the resurrection. It will only serve to advance the Luciferian nature. All deities of the ancient mythologies are ultimately a reflection of Lucifer and Sirius, an enforced and reinforced deception within the spectrum of consciousness, keeping mankind in a perpetual state of blindness. 
All the ancient religions, cults, and mythologies are firmly rooted in Gnosticism and Lucifer, with the celestial objects of the Sirius star system used allegorically as symbol, symbolic representations. Over many centuries, mankind's carnal focus on the elemental aspects of the world has enabled its controllers to implement this matrix. Constru constructs of control. And so we go from, we move from construct to construct, religion to religion, mythology to mythology, never quite understanding that we are living and reliving the choreography of one primary narrative structure. <clears throat> a great deception that resulted in a progressive atrophy of the spiritual impulse governing mankind's relationship with the divine creative and transcendent eternal spirit of the Holy One of Israel, the God of, of all eternity. You'll have to, I'm going to link that, like I said. You guys will want to read through that again to process all that. But uh, that's the whole summation of it. And, uh, you know, it's not a color issue. Henry McCow's uh, what I'm going to link makes that very clear. Uh, anybody with, with two brain cells understands that it's not a color issue. Um, so, God bless you guys. Talk to you next time.